And welcome to Co-op Guild, this is Steve, here with a play of Ashes Reborn. So, wanted to get this one back to the table because I do enjoy this one quite a bit. I'm going to try a different character I haven't played, Tristan Darkwater, so it should be fun. I'm just going this one with me. So I see some friends here already. Let's see, <laughs> we've got, uh, yeah, Brian, it's a guy minus 15? No, sir, you got 19. You got a really good roll in that one. And say, hey, man, how's it going? See you here as well. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, welcome you too. So, yes, we're going to be playing Ashes. I've had this on the channel previously, so I won't go through um, the rules for this one. It looks like my bomb's a little low. Let me try to adjust that real quick. Um, <clears throat> but I won't go through the rules again unless you guys have particular questions on it. I will adjust it if, or I will go through stuff if you guys need to, but uh, that should be better. <clears throat> but yeah, so we'll, we'll run through this one. All right, let's jump to the table. And do oh actually before I get started, I did want to mention one thing real quick. Um, I do have a survey out there currently. You can go to our Discord channel; it's completely free to to visit. Um, in the announcement, the little announcement channel, there is a link to a form, and that form is to collect the top five cooperative games by you. And I'm gonna keep this open for about a month, so I'm gonna keep mentioning this frequently. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot of entries, and at the end of May, I'm going to compile a video and we'll walk them together to see, like, what are some of the best cooperative games that viewers like you enjoy? So, let's do that thing. <laughs> Play cards, kill things, exactly. Let's do this thing. <laughs> okay. Here we are with the board set up. So, I have not played this character before, so I actually, it's a funny story, I was... I wanted to watch Aquaman 2 um, just recently, and so I watched that... Nah, <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. But um, then I was like, what should I play? What should I play? Like, I want to do Ashes. And then I saw this character who I've never played before, Trisha Darkwater, who basically is Aquaman. So you'll see um, he uses a lot of undersea creatures to his, uh, to his, uh, to effect. Um, also got a sweet bow, so we'll see that card as well. But here he is. He's got a battlefield of nine. He's massive battlefield. So he's got a ton of creatures on board. Uh, spell board only three, so weak on the spells, but strong on uh, creatures. And his ability is Magnify. Uh, magnify requires a, a side action. And exhaust him and a resource, and any die to do this. Choose any number of units you control with a combined value of up to three. During attack actions this turn, the numerical values of their abilities are increased by one. So their attack, their... Um, their life and recover is all increased by one, which is pretty nice. Uh, but it's only during the attack actions. Yeah, so basically only when they're attacking, they get boosted. So, <laughs> uh, Matt says, your, so, your server was weird for me. I realized that since the pandemic, I haven't really played co-op games. <gasps> Can't believe you, Matt. Cap, no, that's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I'm curious what games you've been playing then. Uh... And I'm curious, like, why that would change since the pandemic. So, just curious. But, yeah. Now, I mean, I I will probably always be playing co-op games. That is always my go-to. Um, it's funny, because, like, I think if I never played another competitive game, I would probably be okay with that, honestly. <laughs> so, I just love co-ops. Hey, Silent Sniper, welcome. Yeah, the playmat. The playmat's cool. Let me, let me hide this so you can see the playmat. So, this was... I was fortunate enough someone was selling the copy of their game, so I actually got all of Ashes. And they had this play mat, um, which is actually really nice. The nice thing is it has slots for all of the summons and allies you have. So two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, this is only eight spaces. So technically I could have one more than the spaces here. That's cool. So this is for your creatures, your battlefield, and this is for your spell board. So we'll be using three of these spaces and then um, actually, all of these. We'll just put the other one over here. We filled this up. But yeah, it's a pretty nice one. It has spaces for your exhausted dice, your ready dice, and then your reference cards for your dice. And of course, your your conjuration deck, your character, and then your deck and discard. So, very nice mat. I like this a lot. I wish there was a mat, a play mat for this board. Especially since my board doesn't really, you can probably tell this on the scene here, it doesn't really lay flat. So it's kind of a little bit of annoyance, for sure. But... Eh, it's not the, not the worst. Euro Solo. Ah, nice, Matt. Nice. I enjoy good Euro, but 
because many euros just aren't co-op. There's a lot of solo euros, but very few co-op euros. I wish there were more. I do enjoy this quite a bit. Yeah, yours wall was two silent sniper. Okay. At least I'm not the only one. Yeah, because I think a playmate with that would be really, really nice. Um, and it, like you even have slots for these cards on there would be cool. The kicker is like, do you probably need a playmat for co-op as well or solo? I don't know. The nice thing about this, this is just one player. You sit across the board, but when you have multiple people, it gets a little weird. So, um, I've partly gotten to play with others. My wife had cancer a few years ago and chemo fried her brain. She's still getting interested in games. Oh, I'm sorry I had to go through all that cancer. Cancer is the worst. Um, my mom actually is a dosimetrist. That is a fancy name for someone who plans cancer treatment. So, yeah, very... Very familiar with all that stuff. It's it's rough. So I'm glad she is she's recovering though. It's good. Hey Elaine, nice to see you here. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. So yeah, that's Tristan Darkwater. Um he's gonna have 17 health, a giant battlefield, and small spellboard. Let's talk about let's look at the dice real quick. So I'm playing with sympathy magic. So this one will let me draw a card and put a card on top or bottom of my draw pile. So it's kind of a, if you're familiar with the word scry in magic, basically scry. <laughs> scry one. So, and then time magic. These are both dice from one of the, two of the deluxe expansions. Uh, this one will let me spend a turtle to put a status token on a target unit you control. Um, then you may remove a status token from a target unit or spell. Oh, we can do both. Yeah, so you can you can add it to, add a status token and remove one as well. So I probably will forget the removal because I always think about adding and not removing. Hey Ryan, welcome. Nice to see you here. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Actually, that's a good question. Um I see Elaine, you're rolling our dice, and currently I have the bot set up so it will it won't register rolls for the high score list um outside the countdown screen. I can totally change that. I can make it so it's active all the time, potentially, and maybe limit people to just one roll. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm open to tweaking that fun little game as what if you guys want. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do the thing. So, what's going on? I am playing against the Corpse of Viros, which you've seen previously on the channel. I think last time we played, we played the Shadow one. I'm now playing the uh, Fury one. So that's the other aspect of it. You're not seeing this one on channel. So like each each of the chimeras has multiple aspects. So com two completely different decks on how they play. Um, so we'll show the other one in this playthrough. Um, let's look at this a little bit closer though together. So we have um, obviously the starting stuff. I got it ready to go. Four threat, um, ultimate being three. Um, four threat means four cards and then 30 life. So I've got all my three set outside already. I've got th those three tokens. <laughs> I roll a one. I leave the stream. <laughs> Set the bot to automatically uh, to kick people who rolled the one. <laughs> Very silly, funny, horrible. <laughs> so. All right, cool. Let us let's do this thing. So I chose my starting five cards already. Let's walk through this real quick so you get some follow along what this does, and we'll start the game. Um, so here we go. I have the ability to summon, summon Tidal Crabs. So this is one of my summon spells. I put a, a Tidal Crab into play, and it's going to have two status tokens on it. And this is what the crab looks like. So uh, unburdened, as a secondary action, I can move a status token from this unit onto another unit. Why would I want to do that? That's because he is slow. Reduce the unit's attack value by one for each status token on it. So he spawns with two tokens on him which means his attack is zero, his life is three. And then I could slowly remove them to move him to other spots and his attack goes up uh, by doing so. <laughs> so pretty, pretty interesting one. All right. <laughs> crab people, crab people. That is the title crab. Let's look at the next card. My starting one is a Seafoam Snapper. So this one can summon a sn Snapper. And that's what this guy looks like. Um, he is hungry. When this unit comes in play, I can destroy an exhausted conjuration I control. If you do, place a status token on this unit so he go, gobbles up one of my other creatures. Um, he has tough one, meaning after this unit is dealt damage, if there are any status tokens on it, remove all of them to prevent one damage. 
So he can eat other other uh, conjurations to give himself some additional armor for one one hit. Two attack, one life. That's what he will do. Look, the next one I have here is also another summons. This guy's all about summoning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so apparently Steve gets crabs on Kim's in Europe. Nice math, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, Brian, we have a restaurant called Crab Barn, and their tagline is, we don't just serve crabs, we serve anyone. That's amazing. I love that, Brian. That's I love that. That's great. <laughs> uh, so this is the other summons I have. Summon Prism Tetra. This requires a, two of those Harmony Dice. Place three Prism Tetra conjurations onto the battlefield. Um, and focus one means I've got more than one of these in play. Uh, to start of my next turn, or next... Still, so start of your next turn or the next round, Prism Tetris you control cannot be targeted by spells, abilities, or dice powers upon controls. The nice thing is they can be protected, which is great because they're pretty weak. Um, actually, I'm going to turn off my green screen real quick because I got to show you this. This is kind of cool. So, here's a Prism Tetra. So, fearful, can't block, group tactics. After I declare three or more attackers, I might add one to this unit's attack value for the remainder of the turn. After you declare three or more attackers, you may add one to this unit's attack value for the remainder of the turn. You know, the funny thing about that is I, my understanding was you had to attack with it. But as it's written, it almost sounds like if you attack with any three <laughs> creatures, um, they all these Prism Tetras get a plus one to attack. I'm pretty sure you need to attack with them together. Um... <laughs> Awesome jokes, nice. But the cool thing about this is all these Prism Tetras, there's a bunch of them, they all are different colors, which is really cool. Hence the Prism name. Uh, they all have the exact same text. They're just different colors. I I don't know. I like that touch. I think it was a really, really nice touch. Okay. So that was the that one, the Tetra. And here is his unique card, which is his bow. Um, resolve the following effect up to four times. Deal one damage to a target unit and upon control. So fires four arrows. Where, Target wherever you want to need to go. Really, really nice. The last one, Dark Water Hunter, Blood Scent. After one or more wound tokens are placed on an opponent's Phoenix Born, you may play this unit from your hand without paying its ma main action cost. It's sneaking for free because it's hunting. Well, and Stalk, this unit cannot be guarded against, which is awesome with its three attacks. So it can guarantee the damage goes where I need to go. All right, that is my starting hand. A lot of talking. <laughs> let's let's do this thing okay so as a reminder how this game works first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice so let's do that to start here we go roll the dice and rolled all over the place i got ooh, a couple of upgraded that's not bad upgraded dice there actually let me zoom in here so you guys can see a little bit better there we go all right and then i got Pretty horrible time dice roll. Only got one, one, um, what do you call them? There's the class and the power dice. So I got two power dice, two class, one basic. Got one power and nothing else. Just all basic there. So. But only had a dice tray. <laughs> the funny thing is I have dice trays all over the place. Um, I should probably grab one. Yeah, a little late now. I'll, I'll grab one later, but Yeah. I need a good dice tray for rolling, and I've got a few of them lying around, but Kim always sells them to other people, so <laughs> I need to get one. All right, that's enough for that. We roll the dice. Next thing we need to do is, oh, you know what I didn't do? Put our health on the screen. So there I am, 70 health for us and 30 health for the boss. And then the next thing we have to do is discard cards and draw cards, whatever we did. Okay, take our turns, starting with us. Okay, so we can take our actions. The first thing I want to do, let's do a main action. I would love to get a summon title crab card into play. It's going to cost my main action, and I'll spend one of these um, basic dice to put that into play. There we go. You know they make game tables and dice trays built in? <laughs> well, if I ever get a dice, tr dice uh, game table, that would be awesome. <laughs> We've been talking about it. I think Kim will eventually do it. It's just, yeah, it's a lot. It's it's really daunting. All right. 
Secondary action, I don't think I care to do anything for my secondary. I think I'm okay with it. So, let's roll the dice to see what we do for the bad guy. By the way, in this game we roll d12s a lot. If you guys want to roll d12s, let me know. I will use your results. This is not here to feel free to poke. Safe to poke. It's more fun when she's here, though. Let's be real. All right, here's the behavior card. So let me roll. Well, let me roll the dice and see what we get. Seven. A seven is going to be target opposing player must lower two non-basic dice in their active pool one level. Ah, oh, boo! I really didn't want to do that. Or <laughs> you <laughs> Kim can build anything out of wood. Look at her spouse. Nice, Matt. <laughs> Don't use that one. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you, wait. You rolled a... Oh, wait, Brian, you did roll a dice. I didn't miss that. I'm sorry. I will use yours, Brian. How about that? Because I, I, you totally rolled it. I just didn't see it. So what was, what's a two? Two is just reveal. There we go. Reveal. What do we got? Fire belly. Red Wraith 1. When this unit is declared as an attacker, deal 1 damage to all units and Phoenix Born and the opposing player controls. That's going to wreck me because I got a lot of really weak creatures. But luckily, there's nothing out now. So. All right. That's it. It is now. Oh, I got to roll one of these dice. Uh, Raise die. Boo. Boo. Our turn. Let's see. I'm just going to just get my summons out for now, I think. And then we'll deal with what's out there. So let's get a snapper card out. This one is just a basic action, so our my main action. And I think that's it for now. I one of the strategies I like doing this game is letting the bad guy do all its stuff and then coming in at the end and and being unencumbered to do what I need to do. Problem is I have to last long enough. <laughs> so Alright. Let's do this dice. And now I need another 12 if you guys want to roll. If not, no big deal. There we go. A base, uh, basic symbol. That's great. And then for the D12 for us. Let's see what the behavior is going to be. Oh, Matt rolled a 10. I see that's the first one. Ryan, I'll use yours next time. I'm going to set this die to a 9 so I remember. I got to use it in your 9 for the next, next roll. Uh, 10 is raise a basic die one level and reveal. Okay. Basic die one level is over here. And reveal. We have Iron Scales Defender. This unit will block for the Chimera and guard for aspects without this ability. Chimera will not guard for this unit. And as Iron Scales is after this unit is dealt damage, prevent all but one damage from being received. Is dealt damage. And my arrows get through that. Actually, that's a funny thing about this. Look at the arrows. Deal one damage to target, but I do that four times. So I think I can snipe it real easily with the arrows. Uh, that might be a thing. <laughs> you wanted a 12. Whose side are you on, Ryan? Whose side are you on? <laughs> All right, our turn. All right, basic action. Let's go ahead and I'm not worried about the iron scales yet. Let's just play the Prism Tetra. Let's go. I'm gonna get all my summons out right away. And I'm okay with everything else for now. All right, bad guy turn. So first thing I do is roll this die. A rage. That's not great. And then I have a nine from Ryan. Rolled that one, so I'll use your nine, Ryan. And that one is going to be a target opposing player must lower two. Oh no, that's not good. Lower two of our dice. Which dice do I not need? I want... Well, it's got to be these two, I guess. I might have to... I might have to meditate. I'm on nobody's side because nobody's on my side. Oh, what is that from? Ah, oh, what core is that from, Ryan? It's going to drive me nuts. I hear it. Oh! Tree beard. Right? Right? Lord of the Rings? Am I, am I right? Let's see. Okay, who we got? Hunting Instincts. Bloodless 1. After this unit is de destroys an opposing... Uh, dis oh, sorry. After this unit destroys a unit and opposing controls... Opponent controls by attacking, place a red range on the Chimera. That is not good. 
Yeah, I got it. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's a uh, that's not that's not good. Okay, our turn. This guy is going to attack our Phoenixborn and deal one damage to all our units. So I kind of want him to go first before I summon my guys. So I think what I want to do is I want to do my Tsunami Shot. The question is, what do I shoot? Oops, let me move over here. Do I shoot? I can take out Iron Scales. And I can do two here, or I can take out the Hunting Instincts and do all but one damage to Iron Scales. Actually, maybe that makes sense. Take out the Hunting Instincts and leave this guy at one damage, because if I attack him up, I attack him up. Well. Okay, well, let's spend our dice for sure. So I'm going to spend two, two of our basic dice for this action. And I can do four damage. Maybe I didn't know do something. <laughs> yeah, I just need to do something. That's right. Um, yeah. Okay, let's take out the iron scales. Because he's going to guard for everything. So let's do two here, and then I've got two more damage. I'll do two more over there. So he's got one life left. And this guy's gone. He gives us two blood, which is excellent. So we already... On our way. We need life on that guy. Sweet. Okay. Tsunami Bolt. That's a great card. I do like that card a lot. That was our main action. We have a side action. I'm not going to use my side action for anything. Let's we'll see what the bad guy does. Okay. Need to roll this some dice. If you guys want, feel free to roll. Otherwise, I will roll. Rage die. Not great. And then for the behavior. See what we get. Don't see any dice rolls. I will roll, I guess. Oh, no, I see a roll now. Matt rolled a nine. Target opposing player must lower it. Oh, God, it's killing me. It's killing me. Um, okay, lower these two. And I have to do the reveal. Okay. The nice thing is, everything's revealed. Oh, let's look at this one real quick together. So, Frozen Fear. This ethics unit um, destroys a unit and opponent, opponent controls by attacking. Place one exhaustion token on that opponent's target Phoenix Born. Terrifying one that can't be blocked or guarded against by units of attack value of one or less. Well, that's going to be like all my guys. I'm lost about rolling. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, the nice thing is, we don't have to roll the. Uh, any more dice rolls, because these guys are just going to activate. This guy is going to activate next turn. He's going to deal damage to all of us, all my units. But I want to get a guy in place that can attack and destroy the hunting in instincts first. So let's see what I can do about that. The last card in my hand is the Dark Water Hunter. Um, so I need to put wounds on... Oh, wait. He's free to play. Yeah, because the blood sent this... Well, did get triggered because we put wounds on, on the um, on the bad guy. So this guy is free to play. That's great. So I need... I don't want to play him for yet. Well... Yeah, because I play him first. This guy is going to... Nope. He, uh, I need to, I need to summon somebody. I need to summon a conjuration that won't die immediately. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, how much is a snapper? Snapper is something I can afford. No, he's gonna die immediately. Okay, we'll do a title crab. Tower Crab requires this one and this die. These two dice. And Exhaustion Token. We summon a Tidal Crab. So he's going to come play with two uh, status tokens on him. 
Oop, there's a two. Actually, you guys can't see that, so I will I will use these. Make it easier for you guys to see. Yeah, you guys can see that better. Okay. That's my main action. My side action. I don't think I'm going to do anything for side action yet. I'm going to need to change my... I need to meditate, I think. I don't want to go through my deck too quickly. Yeah, because I meditate to get my Seafoam Snap. No, I was get the Tetras out would be pretty good. So I, I will meditate for my side action. I'm going to meditate off the top of my deck. That's another... Oh, it's more of my Tetras. That's not good. So I can turn this die to a music note. Okay, cool. That'll help me get those Tetras out. I was disappointed in that because that is one of my summons that has focus on it. So I can't afford to lose my other summon prison tetra, wherever it is. All right. Now, bad guy's turn. Firebelly's going to go. It has... Uh, it's going to do one damage to all units and Phoenix Born in the pose and player controls. So we are going to take a damage. Oops. That's my thing. There it is. We're going to take our damage, and then everything else is going to take a damage as well. Which isn't great, but that's what it is. And he's going to attack us, so we're going to take another damage. Down to 15. Okay. But he is done. Oh, I can't do what I want to do. Oh, no. No, we're okay. Nope. We're not okay. Because I, I need to destroy him before he does a normal attack. Because if he does a normal attack... He will, he will get red reins. I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah. I don't like it, but I'm going to attack with my... Ooh, actually, I would have to move a status token from this unit to another unit you control. I don't have an attack. I did not plan this out very well. I did not plan this out very well at all. Because he is going to destroy my guy and get the red reins. Oh. Okay, well, I screwed up. That's what happens. So I'm going to spend these two, exhaust this spell to get some Tetras out. One, two, three. Three Tetras out. As a side action, I can move one of these to one of these Tetras. And the reason why I do that is because if you look at these Tetras, um, Scatter, discard this unit at the end of the round unless it has one or more status tokens on it. So I want to put status tokens on it. All right. So now he has at least one attack, which is useful. Now, this Hunting Instincts guy, let me zoom up here so you guys can watch a little bit closer. He is going to attack with four. I'm going to attack my leftmost unit here. Um, this guy has one attack, three life. So he's going to unfortunately kill this Tidal Crab, which is going to generate a red rains. But my I can exhaust this guy to counter it and destroy it in the process. So at least it's dead. And we are dead too, unfortunately. But oh, oh well. We do get two blood for that. Knock him down. Knock him down. Okay. Now have this guy to worry about. What does this guy do? Cannot be blocked or guarded against by units with attack value of three, one or more less. Oh, so he's probably just going to do me three damage. Ugh. Do not like... The first round is always rough. Always rough. I think what I'm going to do is drop down my Dark Water Hunter because he's free to play right here. Slide these down so we have more room. Okay. And I have a side action, but I'm not going to use it for anything. Now this guy's going to attack my Phoenix Born.
I think I'm just going to take it. Yeah, because these guys can't block. I wish they could block, but they can't. All right, but now we're able to attack back or do our fun stuff. So I'm going to use... This is so pony. <laughs> yeah, I uh, know. Uh, so I'm going to use my magnify ability. Let's magnify some of these attacks. So let's increase the attacks of these uh, Prism Petros. So that is, I guess, spend a die for that. So they're all going to get plus one attack. Yeah, plus one tax. Yep. So I will do. And basically, the bad guy's done. He's not going to take any more actions. So I can attack with this guy. Which got three attack. Um, he can't be guarded against, so doesn't matter what happens. This guy's definitely dead. And that's gonna be two more blood for us. Okay. Now these prism tetras. I will attack this fire belly. So I gotta do them one at a time. And I have to roll the die for each for each of them. So this one first. If I roll a 9 or higher, it's attacking the boss instead. That's a 1, so it attacks the fire belly. 1 damage on him. The next one will attack. Oh, that's a 10. It's going to attack the boss man. So, boss man gets hit. And then I got my last one over here, which is uh, also 1 attack. Let's attack the fire belly as well. 2. And that will take out the fire belly. Just what I wanted, and that's going to do another one blood to the boss. All right. Kind of a rough start. <laughs> kind of a rough start, but... And I can, I'm not going to use those dice. I'm just going to exhaust them. For my first time playing this one. Uh, yeah, not two damage, because um, it's one It's one damage. I didn't do group tactics. After you clear three or more attackers... Wait, am I not understanding that right? After you declare three or more attackers, you may add one to this unit's attack value for the remainder of the turn. Oh, hold on a second. I because I thought group tactics was you had to attack with three of those prison tetras to get the bone all of them we could get the bonus. Because I did, I did because of magnify. You're right. You're right, Matt. So they, that's why they have one attack and not zero. Because I magnified them, magnified those three. But I'm not sure how group tactics works. Now you think about it, I don't know if that's in the book. Uh, let's see if I can find that real quick. Let's see if that's in here. It might not be, honestly. Nope, I don't see it in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I, I maybe because you can read a couple different ways. Because if I attack with three guys already, do they automatically get their attack? Like, three separate attacks. Oh, Mr. House has, has something. That's correct. You have to attack with three or more units in order for group troop tactics to trigger. Okay, cool. Cool. So I play right. Because they all have one one attack because of my magnify, but they don't get the group tactics because I didn't attack them with a group. So. Because what, what I was thinking, uh, Mr. Rao... Um, is you can almost read it as you attack with three units first, like individually, and then you attack with a Prism Tetra as your fourth, it would get the plus one. Um, I don't think that's how it's intended because it says group tactics. So attacking individually doesn't really make sense. So it sounds like we're playing, we're thinking it right. It just wording maybe is a little weird. So, okay. But the bad thing is scatter. I have to discard this unit at the end of the round. <laughs> so these two guys go away. I did get one status on this guy, so he's he's good. Uh, but let's go do a cleanup real quick. Those guys go, go away. Go back in the conjuration. <laughs> you know from Tabletop Express? Nice. Nice, Howard. Nice to see you here. Okay. That, my friends, is it. Let's update this a little bit. 
And let me do the cleanup because I always forget. Thanks to you with this game now, Steve. It's a good one. It's a good one. I really enjoy this. Um, if you want to try it first, um, I'll, I'm very willing to sit down and teach you the game on Tabletop Simulator. We can definitely play that. Um, it's not. It's pretty easy to pick up, honestly. Um, always had an issue with card games trying to get out information in limited space. It's true, Brian. Very true. Okay. Does anyone heal? No one's healing for us. Remove exhaustion. We did that. Um, okay, cool. We have to replenish aspects. <laughs> hey, appreciate you hanging out here quite a bit. Yeah. I played the, the OG versus and called it because it never got played. Yeah, I think, honestly, once they went to from PvP to PvE, it saw a lot of life, for sure. Um, I do lots of Ashes Reborn stuff on my channel. Awesome. I am I subscribed to you, Mr. Rao? I if not, I will I'm gonna i I'm gonna look up your channel. I might be about if not, I'm gonna fix that. So cool. <laughs> I did not expect this to be my top five games. I did not expect it, but I've really been enjoying this quite a bit. Okay. That's it for us. Let's do everything again. So starting with Roll dice. Let's do that first. Boop, boop, boop. Much better roll than the previous one. <laughs> Good channel. That's awesome. That's awesome. Love meeting other content creators. Top five is mad respect. I know. It, it was surprising. I do enjoy this one, and that, that high was great. So. Cool. All right. Did that. Let's do discard cards. I don't have any cards to discard. I draw cards. So let's draw our five. Two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? It didn't actually unexhaust here. The one thing I want to get is red crystals for this game rather than these tokens. That's my plan at some point. Okay. So let's look at what I got in my hand. I have a, another summon sat sniper. I got another dark water hunter. Love that card. Um, another tsunami shot. Tidal crab. And this is a new one. So let's look at this together. This is Wave Crash. Remove one status token from a unit you control to deal two damage to a target unit an opponent controls, or one damage to target a Phoenix form. That is great. Where'd you get that playmat? <laughs> yeah, the question, yeah. This playmat's awesome. Um, I think it's on... I, I came across, I was doing some looking around. I think it's on like Etsy, you can, you can order it. But actually, I came across... Actually, it was... Uh, uh, Pickles, uh, Ryan here, Ryan Pickle, uh, Pickles Simmer, he saw a deal for Ashes. And so I had some of it and he wanted some of it. So we wound up like buying someone's full collection and splitting it. So now I have the full collection. He has a bunch of it as well. Um, but it came with the mat, which is great. I'm a sucker for play mats. So. <laughs> yes. All right. But yeah, I, I should find a link for it. I think it's I think I saw on Etsy or something like that. I have to double check. Um, but yeah, I think if you do a search for Ashes play mats, it definitely pops up. Okay, now bad guys can go first. So um, we're ready to roll some dice. So if you guys want to roll a d12, let me know. Otherwise, I roll it when I get to it. Okay, right, first things first. Basic die. Nothing happens there, which is great. Behavior, so let's roll. I don't see any rolls. Yeah, ping me later and um, I will I'll continue a link because I did find a link at some point. A little hard for me to send a link now, though. All right, I don't see any of the dice rolls, so I guess I'll roll. A two! Reveal. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Draw the bad guy cards. <laughs> Gotta do that. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, now we can reveal a card. Let's see what it is. Firebelly. We saw this guy before. He does one damage to all units. No, he's gonna kill my pet, my Tetra. When he attacks, do not like. He's got two life. Two life. That guy's gonna be a, this is gonna wreck house for me. Whole game, I think. Okay. What do we need to do? 
We need to kill that thing. That's what we need to do. Uh, Steve advice on what to get besides bad and red rain boxes to start. I'm guessing that's enough. I'm not sure what you mean by bad. Unless you mean it's a type of a base. Yeah, if you... So, besides base. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you get this for the first time... Yeah, I, all you all you really need is the core, um, and the red and the red Raiders box. Now, if you go on Plat Hat's website, they have a bundle deal, so you can get both those bundles together, and you're good to go. That's what I would start with. Um, then, if you want to playing it and liking it, you get to expand from there. Uh, the next thing I'll probably get. <sighs> The variety in Chimeras is pretty nice. I might get the next Chimera. And then after that, I'll probably get the deluxe boxes. The deluxe boxes are needed to get the different uh, dice here. Because these dice, um, both these sets of dice are actually from the deluxe expansions. So you, you need those deluxe expansions for the dice to be able to play the all the Phoenix Born. Some of the Phoenix Born, you can play with just the core set, but other ones require like the time dice, or let me think, the time dice, the harmony dice, or the sympathy dice. I always call them harmony, I'm not sure why. And then the angelic dice. I'm trying to think what they're called. I don't have a card with me. The white dice is what it is. Divine. I think it's divine dice. So yeah, those are the other ones I would get in that order. But yeah, I would totally get the bundle deal. And then if you need more content, get the other the, the other boss so you can have some variety of bosses and go from there. Yeah, they're packed. The dice are packaged separately. I well, not quite you because they're packaged separately, but they they package in a deck box, which is really nice actually. These deck boxes are designed to like hold, um, hold and transport the game, which is really really cool. So you can get three of them, and then if you like go to Gen Con or some tournament or someone's house, you just throw all your cards in that box, um, and you're good to go. Rather than having to bring the full collection, which is really nice. So. Annoying, but annoying with a nice, nice twist to it. So, all right. What do we need to do? We need to summon stuff, and I want to get rid of that fire belly. I think I know how I'm going to do it. I want to get a tidal crab out again. Let's do that first. The tidal crab is going to be these two dice. And... My main act and my main action is to summon that guy. So let's grab the title crab again. I'm back. Back again. Okay. Then what I want to do is for a side action, play title wave crash. So let's gonna spend a harmony dice here and remove a status token from a unit you control. Deal two damage to a target unit. An opponent controls. So let's do that. Let's remove. Yeah, we'll remove from the title crab. And it's going to do two damage to this guy and just destroy him. I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. <laughs> so two life, he's dead. And that's going to give us one blood. First blood. Or not first blood this round. <laughs> so. And that was our main summon and secondary playing that spell. Which I have to discard from my hand. Cool. Bad guy turn. I actually have a video coming out in the near future about advice for people to get into ashes and what are next steps. That's amazing. Um, uh, Mr. Rao, uh, if you're interested, I don't know if you're on my Discord server, but um, might be cool to uh, jump on there and share that link when you ever have it. Um, or actually, I'll probably just follow your video and just share it, for, share it that way too. We have a lot of cool discussions about Ashes in the TTE Discord. There's a whole separate channel. Yes! That Discord. I'm in that server too, by the way, Mr. Rao. Um, yeah, go check out. The TTE is the... I'm not sure what acronym is. But I'm pretty sure you're talking about the the Ashes uh, Discord. So, Yeah, he sent a link to the server. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in too many servers on Discord, I'll tell you. <laughs> too many. All right, so that was the first thing we did. Let's do the bad guy turn. So I roll this dice, and if you guys want to roll a d12, let me know. Otherwise, I'll do it myself. So basic die. Sweet. Get lucky on that. And let's see a d12 rolled. 
So take a quick peek. No D12. Yeah, so many servers, exactly. All right, here we go. Let's roll this dice then. So by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you do type in exclamation point D12, it will roll a dice in um, on the chat. So this is just a simple reveal. Ooh. Here we go. Take a peek. Iron scales. The funny thing is, this is the same order we had last round. Yep. So this is defender with iron scales. He only takes one damage when he gets attacked. Okay. I have the bow in my hand, though, which is nice. Okay, so let's see. I want to summon my Tetros again, I think. Actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'll summon this Dark Water Hunter again, because that bad guy took damage. So this Dark Water Hunter this uh, is free to play. I have a side action, which I am not going to use yet. Okay. I really love that's how that's free. That's really nice. Okay. Bad guy turn. Rolling this dice. I need another D12 if you guys want. Oh no, there's the rage die. He was coming. That is in red range. We're two of the three. Which is not great. And then let's see what we get for this one. No dice rolls, so I will roll. Seven. I have to lower two non-basic dice. Two non-basic dice. And lower this one. I don't really need that. I already summoned him. Probably not going to be summoning the snapper because I didn't roll what I needed. I'll, I'll spin that one down. Okay. And then I have to do a reveal. Hunting instincts. That destroys an opponent, uh, unit opponent controls by attacking. Place a red reins. Okay. Four attack is horrible. Mm, I do not like the hunting instincts. I do not say I am. Okay. I think it's time to do Tsunami Shot again. Spend that. Tsunami Shot. Four damage, or damage, one damage four times. Let's do it. Let's take out this guy. He's got three life, so I got one more damage left over. Let's do to the Iron Scales. So that guy's going to generate two blood for us. Getting down there. And that was our main action. We have a side action. Side action. I want to wait to unburden him. So I'm not going to do anything for my side action. Okay. Next round, bad guy turn. Here we go. You guys are going to roll. Let me know. I'm watching this chat. Basic die. And regular behavior. Here we go. I rolled a 10. 10. 10. 10 is raise one basic rate to die one level. That's okay. And then reveal. Okay. We reveal into Rampage, which is going to come to play with two status tokens on it. Start of the Chimera's turn. Remove one status token from this unit to reroll all basic rage die. Do not like. That guy has to die. Because I have all the basic rage die just sitting there. <laughs> that is pretty horrible right now. He's got two life. Attack two. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to take out both those, but I don't think I can. I have to... I. The Iron Scales is just going to kill my Tetra. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. What I want to do... Is take out that Rampage. If I bump a pet Tetra's... Oh, he can't block. 
He's just going to get attacked and died. And killed. Yeah, so I can't... If I boost up his attack, it's not going to do anything. Uh, that's, that's, well, he's doing... He's a meat shield for this guy, I guess. So... <laughs> um. Can I attack Rampage? Now, here's the question. Can I attack... Let me move this over. Rampage here. With my Darkwater Hunter. I'm asking that because this guy says he can't... This unit can't be guarded against. And Iron Scales would normally guard. Um, this unit will block for the Chimera and guard for aspects without this ability. So I don't think the Iron Scales can actually stop me from attacking the Rampage with my Dark Water Hunter. And here's the other question. If I use my innate ability, Magnify, and I choose my Dark Water Hunter, it's going to increase all his stats by one. So it'd be a four attack, three life, to recover. During attack actions this turn, the numerical values of their abilities are increased by one. How does that work? Because if it's if he's got four attack and three life and two recover, but it's only during attack actions, does he then die after the attack action? It seems weird to it seems really weird to boost all their stats when only it matters during attack. I don't I do not understand. Do not understand. Because I want to boost it up. I want to kill the Rampage guy. I'm going to play it that way. Unless I'm not saying anybody saying otherwise in the chat. Um, it just seems a little weird. Yeah, it just seems a little weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll do my... I guess spend a die for that. I'll magnify G him. He's got two life. I can also magnify somebody else. Uh, I can only magnify him. Yeah. It's not going to do any good because he's going to die anyway. Well... Nope, I gotta I gotta take out this rampage. This rampage is gonna roll too many dice and that's gonna hurt. Okay. So let's attack with this hunter. He's got boosted stats. He is he can't be guarded against, I don't worry about it. He's just gonna kill the rampage guy. That's gonna be one blood for us. No, for the bad guy, sorry. One blood. Now bad guy turn. They're going to attack with the iron scales and attack my leftmost unit. My Tetra just is gonna die. Nothing to do about that. But that's okay. Now, the bad guy is all done. It's now just us. We can do whatever we want. I'm going to fast play my stuff. So, play another Seafoam Snapper card. I'll play this other Tidal Crab card. I will spend that to play that other... Oh, wait. Tidal Crab's over here. Sorry. Okay. And then I'm going to do this with two of these dice. To summon three more Tetras. One. Two. Three. Side action. Feed them. <laughs> okay. And now I can attack with the rest of them. So if I do a group attack here. They will all get boosted to attack. So that's three attack. At boss man. Do it. Boss man's taking... Three damage from those Tetras. I can attack with his Hunter to kill this guy. That's going to be another two damage, so two blood on the boss. And he can't be guarded against, so don't have to worry about that, that noise. 
And then I can attack with, so all three of these guys attack, and I tapped them, but let me do this, be correct. And then my last one I can attack with this guy, who's at full attack finally, for another two damage on boss man. Okay. We are now at more life than the boss for once. <laughs> okay. Cool. Next round. I am not going to discard this die because I do like it, so I'm going to reroll the rest of them. And we're going to keep this machine going. There we go. That is not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Did that. Let's draw our five cards. Oh, you know what? I didn't do I didn't do all the cleanup. Move exhaustion. I do have to get rid of these two Tetris, unfortunately. Not doing a good job keeping my Tetris alive. Let me go back into my conjuration deck. <clears throat> Bad guy's nothing to worry about on that end. And then we're gonna get four more cards. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give him damage. He would have taken... I totally skipped that part. Sorry, guys. I didn't do because it wouldn't have mattered. He would have got two damage. He had one life left. We had recovered two, and then he would heal. So, sorry. I should have put damage on him, and he should have... He's. And there's okay now, but I forgot to put damage and remove it. All right. We are going first. Let us roll. Let's draw our hand. And see what we get. Oh, good. I got the other Summon Prism Tetra, which I wanted. Oh, guys, I got it. I got the Radiant Leviathan. I don't have the right dice. I'm close. Oh, I think we have to do it. This guy's cool. This guy's cool. All right, so I'm going to show you the other cards I have. These are new ones. Uh, stand still. Um, I, have to, I have to discard a card for this, um, in addition to the cost. You may play the spell after you declare attackers, choose a target unit, and opponent controls. Units with that unit's current title cannot be declared as blockers for the remainder of the turn. So shut down certain blockers. And title shift is this one. Move an exhaustion token from a ready spell you control onto a target unit and opposing controls. I like that a lot. And the summon the Leviathan, which we're gonna do. We're, we're going to play that card this turn for sure, because it's fun. All right, so we're going first. I wanna summon my Tetris first. I'm just making sure I have the cost, I can do this. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be an expensive turn. It'll be fun though. So let's do this. Spend these two and exhaustion token. To put three of those um, Prism Tetras into play. It's, it's a huge, massive board here. Okay, I have. Wow, I'm almost maxed out on on stuff I can have out. Okay, that's my summon. That's my main action. I have a side action which I will. Not do anything yet. Oop, this should be off. Sorry, I have to take that off. Okay, bad guy turn. Rolling the basic die. If you guys want to roll the d12, go ahead. Nothing there. That's good. Behavior one. Let's see what we get for a die roll. Roll a seven. I must lower two non basic dice. That's not good. That's not good. Roll a four. I'll got you next time, Matt. Thank you. I'll use yours next time. Put a marker here so I remember if you rolled a four. Um, I guess I'll do these two. Okay. And I have to do a reveal. Oh, Rampage. He's back. And that is also still a really bad situation. Okay. We can deal with that, though. We can deal with him. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and exhaust this to attack the rampage guy. And he, he's, 
I can kill him. There's no way of guarding against it, so he's just dead. Oh, I love that ability. It's so fun. One blood. One blood. Down to ten. Okay. Don't have a side action I want to do. Yep, no side action I want to do. Okay, bad guy turn. Roll this die, and I'm using your die roll, Matt. Rage die, and you rolled a four. So let's take a look at what four is. Four is... Attack of Abel, can't reveal. Sweet. Reveal this next card. Whiplash. When this unit comes into play, which is now, destroy the opposing player's target leftmost unit with one or more wound tokens on it. I don't. Cannot deal one damage to the target player's target leftmost unit. My hunter got hit. That's okay, though. He's still alive. And he can heal if, I, if he survives. Okay. So now I summon, I think I need to summon a Leviathan now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this card to meditate. I need a horsey. And then let's spend the horse, this hourglass, and the two others. Yeah, it's expensive. There we go. So I have the raised dice to do this spell. Summon Radiant Leviathan. Place a Radiant Leviathan Conjuration onto your battlefield. Place one status token on it for each other conjuration I control, which is a ton of conjurations. So let's go and grab this big guy out. Oh, got another four. Thank you, Matt. I see it. I'll put a reminder for me. Here is the Leviathan. So look at the big guy. Three attack, five health, no recover. Coalesced. Other units you control cannot be targeted by attacks and opponent controls. So he protects all my other units. And refract. When this unit is destroyed, place one Prism Tetra Conjuration onto your battlefield for each status token on this unit. And it's going to come to play with one, two, three, four, five. Five status tokens on it. So I have five other Conjurations, which is amazing. I love it! <laughs> oh yeah, that's my main and my side. I can't do anything else. <laughs> You're consistent, Matt. I, I'm okay with Matt's consistency. It's good. That's a way of a conjuration. It's true. Okay. So that was that spell. Yeah. That's a fun one. Oh, how the table... How the... What is it? How the turn have tabled. Okay. Bad guy turn. Rolling this thing. And we can roll another four. Basic die. Okay. Nothing happens. And a four... I know we just looked at it. I forget what it does already. Attack if able. Okay. So Whiplash is going to attack us. He's going to attack the Leviathan, which is fine. So he's going to attack with two damage on the Leviathan. Leviathan don't care. He's got the health for it. <laughs> how the tables have turned. Yeah, exactly. I like the funny joke of how the turn have tabled. Um, okay. It's now... I could have countered him. I think I don't care, honestly. He only has one life. What I would like to do is get another Tidal Crab out so my Tetras don't die. Let's see if we can do that. I need Exhaustion Token and these two dice, which I can do it. Sweet. I have a full board here, guys. Tidal Crab. With two status tokens on them. And I will use my side action to keep that guy alive. Okay. Okay. That's it for our stuff. Bad guy turn. Roll one of these dice. And I don't see any other rolls, so I'm getting close to the ultimate. Let's see what we get for this. A fiver. Reveal and attack with a real aspect. Oh, no. I see you roll. You rolled a one. I was just getting to it. Reveal. That's what that does. Reveal. So, let's see what we get. You could attack with all of your Tetras and Leviathan all at once at the Chimera and win. What? I can? Well, I'm just revealing, so I'm going to check that in a second, Mastow. Let's see. Um, oh, another Rampage guy. Boo! Boo! Wait a second. 
Wait a second, can I? These all have zero... Oh, they have group tactics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're right, because this is seven just there. Plus, I have to attack with this guy, eight, nine, ten. Plus Tristan's ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I love it. We're doing Gamma Slam, guys. I love it. Good. I was not even paying attention to that. There we go. Magnify. Um, and you spend a die, no problem, don't care. I get to magnify. We'll magnify these three. Um, so they get plus one attack, so then I can attack the boss guy. Because there's no nothing, there's no guards out there. So this guy would be a two. Two, four, six, this one, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that is Grammar <Kevin> <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, let me update the thing real quick. Sorry. Make it official. There you go. Zero. Grammar <laughs> Combo. Yeah. Yeah. This game is fun. I love this game. It was my first time playing this. Play this guy as well. And I started I started clicking. Like being able to feed the Tetris, keep him alive. Getting this guy out and have the Tetris alive was really, really helpful. Yeah. Gamma Whale Slam. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Mr. Gaming. Mr. Rao Gaming, because I would not have seen that, I don't think. I was too focused on the minutia and didn't even look at the ability to attack the boss man. Yep. Good call. Good call. Now, this guy's at the easiest, of course. I said that way because I've never played this guy before. Um, Tristan, so. But it's fun. Tristan's one of my favorites for that reason. Ah, okay. You know what? This one, I wonder if Kim would like this character. Because Kim loves her Gamma Slams. And I, I'm so used to characters not being able to do that. So I was not even looking at that. Good call. Good call. Okay. Well, that's going to end this playthrough. I'm trying to think, is there any cards you guys didn't see that I didn't draw into? Um, I think you guys saw most of them. Oh, you didn't see this one card. Ocean's Gift. Yeah, that's the only card you didn't see. You want it really? Uh, move an exhaustion token from a ready spell you control. Oh, wait, where is, we saw not that one, sorry. Ocean's Gift. This is the card I meant to grab. You didn't see this one yet. When the spell comes into play, raise three dice in your active pool one level which is great the unit has the following ability so you attach this to your unit you get plus one attack and bestow which is when this unit is declared as an attacker may place one status token on your unit control which is awesome that will keep all those tetras alive even longer yeah yeah here's the the conjuration deck is kind of silly for tristan because these if you look in the corner of the conjurations let's see like, if you look at the Snappers, for example, they have two. That means there's only two Conjurations you can have in the game. The the Tetras? Nine. You can have nine of those guys in play, which is literally a full battlefield for Tristan. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, this guy would have died. We would have... Well, we had to have other guys die. But we would have got, a ton, we would have got up to five more Tetras on the board. So, awesome. Well, let me jump to the chat real quick. That was Asher Reborn, Trishan Darkwater. I really enjoyed that one. I gotta, I gotta play more of these characters. There's, this is a fun game. This is a fun one. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to end this play. Uh, coming up on the channel, uh, Kim suggested I do... Oh, what was she say? I don't have it scheduled yet, but I'll do a play Wednesday. I, she had a suggestion for that. I forget what it was. Oh, a, a stealth game. I will, I will do V Sabotage Wednesday. So it's been a while to play that game. If you want to see a really cool stealth game, check it out on Wednesday. Uh, there's not going to be a co-op chat this weekend because this weekend will be Game of Palooza. Game of Palooza is whenever uh, Derek McKenzie Studios visits or I visit him, and we just play games all weekend. So that will be Friday and Saturday and probably a little bit of Sunday. So be on the lookout for on this channel. I will do my best to kind of post those. Uh, but we'll the games will start Friday night for sure. And... We've talked about a number of games to play. We've talked about this as an option. Um, Arbor Knight, of course, because we have to play that one. Uh, we talked about uh, Slay the Spire, 
So that is, uh, Derek has that one, so we'll probably play that. Um, and I'm trying to think if we have other ones planned as well. We're still talking through the different ones. So if you guys have things you want to see played, oh yeah, Earthborn Rangers maybe, might get played as well. Talk to him about that. Uh, Mr. Rao, I do enjoy how each character is very different. It's true. Um, they play, they just feel so different. And I really like how flexible they are too. Like, if I don't like a card, I can easily pull it out and put any card I want in the deck with some stipulations. There's some minor ones, but I like how open it is. And it, it allows for some fun exploration. But, and I'm, I'm the type of person, I like deck building. I'm a big fan of customizing decks. I have found the builds for each of these Phoenix Born to be solid. Like, I don't feel like I need to change the decks at all. I feel like I could play them out of the box as is and be perfectly happy. No issues. So, yeah, really fun game. I really enjoyed this one. Go check it out if you guys are curious. Um, I, I need to get hands on. I, I was dumb. I didn't realize it was a pre order system for the, uh, the third boss. So, I'm missing that one. But I'm on a pre order system for the fourth boss. So I'll get the third boss eventually and get the fourth one. So this will be you'll see this on the channel for sure. I believe there's going to be seven of those chimeras coming out for the first cycle. I don't know if they're planning more after that. Um, I assume they are because I feel like that it's doing pretty well, but we'll see. All right. Yeah, be on the lookout for this weekend for Game Palooza. There'll be a lot coming, but thanks everyone for joining. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Nick Conley has done amazing at bouncing each of the pre-con decks. He has done a really good one. Yeah, for sure. Cool. And honestly, guys, go check out Mr. Rao's gaming channel. Go check it out if you want to see more of this. Um, I'm pretty sure I've checked your video, if videos in the past, but um, yeah, go look at go look what you got going on. So, all right, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time at the Guild. Bye-bye.